Well, let me try it a different direction. On March 16th, 2015, the Long Island Press quoted Glenn Catan, who is the legal director for your organization, as saying, quote, like, what are you going to do about radicalization in the Muslim community? That's nonsense. There is no such thing. I'm curious, do you agree with the legal director of your organization that there is no such thing as radicalization in the Muslim community? Well, th this is what we do believe, Mr. Chairman. What we believe in, this is based on attacks we've seen in our country in just the last year alone, whether it's the Orlando shooting, the attack on a women's health clinic, the attack at the AME church in Charleston, South Carolina, we know that extremist violence takes many forms and people motivated regardless of their race, religion, or ideology. And what we also know is that there's no, uh, there's no pathway, so to speak, to, to get to that point of engaging in violence. What the national security and law enforcement experts say is that there's, it's, the common thread that you see is vulnerable individuals who are seeking a sense of purpose. And um, so we, we totally disabuse and, and do not believe in this canard that there's somehow a pathway to radicalization. Uh, and that's what numerous studies have shown as well. So I want to give you just one more opportunity to answer the question directly, because I don't believe you did. Do you agree with your legal director who said, quote, there is no such thing as radicalization in the Muslim community? There are violent individuals in all communities, including the Muslim community. But there is there is it connected to any ideology? It's there are some people who uh, where there is ideology that's a part, but ideology is not the center or even part of the center of the causation um, for what c causes people to engage in violence. And it's not just me that's saying that. It's ex experts like my colleague, Mr. German, and law enforcement and national security experts who say that. So I'm just going to give you one more opportunity to, to say whether yes or no you agree with the legal director that there's there no such thing as radicalization in the Muslim community. Uh, as, I'll, as I'll note for the direct record, Senator Durbin apparently doesn't want you to answer that question. <laughs> I would like you to show the courtesy of this witness instead of badgering her. Thank you, Mr. Senator Chairman. Durbin. You've been very courteous. <laughs> well, you know, I'd like an administration Chairman. that shows the courtesy to the victims of radical Islamic terrorism and doesn't edit a 9 11 call from a terrorist who's murdering 49 people in Orlando and pretending the threat doesn't exist. Mr. Chairman, I would like to say that I think you've been very respectful to this witness. The witness has not, the witness has not answered your question, and I think you had a right to pursue it. And you did it in a gentlemanly, professional way, and I'm disappointed that Senator Durbin would not understand that. Senator Coons. 